Hi guys, welcome to Time Speed Distance. As we have said, like we will come up with Time Speed Distance. Here it is. And yes, welcome to iQuant as well. And if you have not subscribed us, please subscribe and like and comment also. I would love to hear from you guys so you can comment in the comment section as well. So today we will start with Time Speed Distance. Time Speed Distance is a like this the longest topic of arithmetic, right? And this is the last topic which we are going to discuss because we the rest everything we have already done. So in time speed distance, there are certain things you need to understand, like what is time speed distance, why it is important, and why it is so important in CAT also. You can expect two, three questions in CAT every year from time speed distance. It's actually a very important topic. So please be assured, like you have to do it thoroughly. So in time speed distance, like you can see, like uh, I have had like a lot of good and beautiful picture. You can see. So it is like time, speed, and distance. Like it's time is there, speed is there, and distance is there. Now also you need to understand one thing which is in case of time speed distance you have to understand like we do not do questions based on acceleration that is not in your syllabus so your syllabus is just basic time speed distance so let's go into the chapter then so what we are going to learn in time speed distance that we need to cover first initially is introduction obviously proportionality average speed relative speed trends both streams Escalators, linear rest, circular rest. The clock is like a very negligible topic, so we are not generally very interested in clocks. Otherwise, we will do all of these things, right? So this is all about arithmetic. So in this arithmetic time speed distance. So we will start with the introduction and proportionality. So let's begin. So in introduction, the first thing you need to know, like time speed distance, the basic thing is the only one formula which are going to use. That is d equal to st. Right, so d equal to st if we do, so that is distance equals to speed into time. So what is distance? Distance is let's say you are traveling from this point to this point, right? So you're traveling from this to this point, fine. So the distance is nothing but speed into time. Now speed is like, uh, let's say it's in, the one thing you have to remember, they should be in the same like unit. So let's say if your speed is 20 km per hour, and your time is let's say 30 minutes so either you need to convert everything into hour or you need to convert the speed into minutes so the easiest to do is t is half an hour because 60 minutes is one hour right so half an hour so what is your d that is 20 into half so your answer is 10 kilometers so you need to understand about the unit so unit is very important you cannot meddle with the units so the next important thing is that from d equal to st, you also can find s, which is nothing but distance by time, and t, which is nothing but distance upon speed. So that is the basic thing of time speed distance. <clears throat> so now, what about the speed? Like the general thing we use speed is in either in kilometer per hour or in meter per second. Now, if I need to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, what I need to do? I know kilometer is let's say how much? One thousand meters, and one hour equal to three thousand six hundred seconds. So if you multiply kilometer up per hour into, this is nothing but if you do, this is 5, this is 18. Into 5 upon 18, I'll get meter per second. And if I have meter per second, I need to convert it into kilometer per hour into 18 upon 5. That gives me kilometers per hour. Please remember these things. Next is like also, you know, like one hour is one hour is 60 minutes is equal to 3600 seconds. So these are the things which you need to know. Also, you need to know one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. So these things are basic requirement, that's it. But generally we do not use FPS where the, like the distance is in miles. So we generally do not use those things. Generally one mile is 1.6 around kilometers. But we generally do not use it in Indian exams. We generally use with kilometers, hours and all, not foot, pound, second, not those things. Right? So if you understand this thing, this is like the basic introduction of time speed distance, like what exactly the formula is and the entire chapter is based on only this formula. So you understand like how important it is. So the next thing that we are going to discuss in time speed distance, that is proportionality. Now in case of proportionality, the first and the very first thing you need to understand, like what is, what do you mean by proportionality? So if I have d equal to st, so from this thing also I can say d is directly proportional to s when t is fixed, when time fixed. That is direct, d is proportional to s when time fixed. Next is d is proportional to t when speed is fixed. And also speed is inversely proportional to t when distance is fixed. 
that is the meaning of proportionality now you need to understand one thing very clearly here so think about it let's say the time is fixed if my speed is 20 and i'm traveling 200 kilometers if my speed is 40 i will travel 400 kilometers let's say again the time is fixed if my if the speed is fixed if i'm traveling for one hour so the distance i will travel in two hours i will travel double of the distance and in case of speed and time if i increase my speed by double the time will become half so A and T is inversely proportional, the rest things are directly proportional. And you need to understand this thing very importantly. From this thing also we can write that is D1 by D2 is same as S1 by S2. Similarly, I can write D1 by D2 is same as T1 by T2. And also I can write S1 upon S2 is nothing but T2 upon T1. That is the meaning of inversely proportion. So this is all you can see like what exactly we need to use this in proportionality. And remember one thing, proportionality is like the base of time speed distance. We are going to use too much ratio in time speed distance. So please be very careful how exactly I'm solving. Now the next thing, obviously, that comes into the picture, that is, let's say a question. Time taken by three sprinters to cover a racetrack are in the ratio 6 is to 4 is to 3. What will be the ratio of the speeds at which they cover the distance? So you can see like someone is like uh, running. So let's say they are running in this ratio of the speed is 6 is to 4 is to 3. So if this ratio of speed is 6 is to 4 is to 3, the ratio of the time is inversely proportional. So it has to be 1 upon 6 is to 1 upon 4 is to 1 upon 3. Now what I need to do, I need to make it in the integral form. So what, how I do that? I just multiply the uh, three things with the same unit, which is the LCM of 6, 4 and 3, which is nothing but 12. So if I multiply by 12, so that is 12 upon 6, that is 12 upon 4, and that is 12 upon 3. So which is nothing but 2 is to 3 is to 4. So hence your answer is 2 is to 3 is to 4, which is none of this. Now, how this is basically happening, I'm giving you one example also. Let's say that time taken, this, let's say the speed is 6x, 4x, and 3x, right? And the time is, let's say, t1, t2, and t3. So if the distance is D is fixed, so I can say T1 is nothing but D upon 6X. I can say T2 is nothing but D upon uh, 4X and T3 is nothing but D upon 3X. Now this do the ratio, you'll get the same thing. That is D upon 6X is D upon 4X, the same as D upon 3X. And I am sure you'll get the same result here. So you don't need to do this much. You can directly do this kind of questions just by using ratio proportion like the ratio so like the ratio is like very very important thing to start with now the next thing that we are going to discuss here is let's say a question like black panther walked into the woods at a rate of four kilometers per hour and returned to his starting point at the rate of three kilometers per hour if the entire trip took him 3.5 hours then how far into the woods he did he travel so this is basically uh, you can solve this question in so many ways so one of the ways uh, starting point. So you need to find uh, like the distance. So Black Panther walked into the woods at the rate of 4 km per hour and returned to his starting point at the rate of 3 km per hour. So I can say if the distance is D, D upon 4 plus D upon uh, 3 is, so D upon 4 plus D upon 3 is same as 2D upon 3.5, right? Now, you need to understand one thing. If it is 4 kilometers per hour, 3 kilometers per hour, what you need to find? You need to find what is exactly D, right? So the easiest way to solve this question is don't do anything like this thing. So just make it like this. So this becomes D by 4 plus D by 3 is equal to 4D upon 7. So if I take these things in one side, uh, so you will find distance. Now, if the entire trip took him into 3.5 hours, then how far into the woods did he travel, right? So what I need to do, I just need to find the distance. And they have said like it takes 3.5 hours. So this is not the speed, I'm sorry. So let me do it again for you. So Black Panther walked into the, like, let's say go to the second question. Black Panther walked into the woods at the rate of 4 km per hour and returned to his starting point at the rate of 3 km per hour. So if the distance is D, so that is D by 4, there's a time, then D by 3 is the time. And this is same as 3.5, right? So if you solve this thing, you'll get 7D upon 12 is nothing but 7 by 2. So what is D? D is nothing but 6. So hence your answer, what is the distance is 6 km. Now the question is how far into the woods did he travel? 
So the to the distance you travel basically six kilometers going to the wood and six kilometers coming back. So hence your answer is six kilometers. If the total distance traveled is twelve kilometers. So you need to understand what exactly is being asked, and depending on that, you need to answer your questions, right? So let's go for the next one. So the difference between attempting to certain distance at 10 km and 12 or 30 minutes, find the distance in kilometer. Again, the introductory question. So I can say like the distance is D. So D upon 10 minus D upon 12. Now this is in kmph, it is kilometer per hour. So I cannot convert, I cannot use directly 30. I cannot use directly 30. I need to make it into hours. So that is 30 upon 60. So I can write, like let's say then 5D upon 60 is half. So what is D? D is 6. So what is the distance in kilometer? The distance in kilometer is 6. So this is how you can need to solve this question because you need to understand about the units. They are very, very important. So you have to understand more about the units. So these are like the basic questions which generally being asked like in other exams, not in CAT. These are only for your basic foundation. Clear? So in the next session, we will start. So this is like the introductory session for time speed distance. So I've given you like two, three very basic understanding. The next class, we will start with proportionality. So please like go for the next class. So this is like the basic of TSD. I'm not going to the proportionality now because proportionality will be a different session. So we will do proportionality in the next session. So this is all about the introduction of this thing. So I hope you have understood this. And please keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video. And if you have not liked and comment, please do that and I'll get back to you in the next video. So see you guys in the next one.